Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about company priorities. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, why do most companies prioritize time and cost over the quality of a project? I would say that most companies only do that until things start breaking so much that it becomes embarrassing for them. That's what I find. Uh, the reason I argue that this mostly happens is because time and cost are always factors to everything and you sort of just assume that everything always works. Uh, like, um, my example for this is if you're if you are a say you manufacture cars well the time it takes for you to produce a vehicle and that like at the, and, and the cost is the thing that is going to be, affect your revenue. But when everybody, anybody says that this has to be shipped really quickly, everybody still assumes that the car is going to work. Because how long it took and what it cost doesn't matter for anything if it's not going to be going to drive on the road and you can't sell it. It's the same thing with the system. Startups run this extreme, uh, run this way ex exactly the same way. It's basic. The graph usually looks like in the beginning you move really, really quickly because you basically have to. That this is why most companies prioritize time and cost because it, when software is being developed in the development stage, you are not making money from the software usually. That's why you want to get to a paying state as quickly as possible, where you're actually making revenue, so you can so you can sustain the development process is the same old argument that you know any R&R department or pharmaceutical company makes right we need like the time for research costs money therefore the like the revenue that we make from whatever we create later on needs to make up for that time software does does in a min, in many cases work in a very similar way and so it's ve you have a high incentive in the beginning of things to move as quickly as possible at the lowest possible cost but after a little while, what's going to start happening is that that speed is going to start coming back to you. Uh, the reason being basically because you're going to try to take shortcuts, you're trying to make things work as quickly as possible, and you have a lot of incentive to, you know, to cut these corners. But then the system starts degrading usually, and you start having problems, quality issues, because it's inevitable, guys. Like The larger the system, the more issues you're potentially going to have. And so what then happens is that now it's not just a question of that you want to move as quickly as possible. You still want that, but you realize that you can no longer do so and still maintain a decent level of quality. If things are always breaking, if things is never working and so forth, then the balancing act is no longer a question of how fast can you do this thing. It's a question of how fast can you do this thing while still having a acceptable quality level and that's the key thing for a lot of software developers that they don't understand so to you as a software developer and especially this goes true for UX designers as well your perspective on what high quality is is almost always going to be at the bleeding edge the reason being because you know how well things can work and so a lot of software developers, especially if you go into the older companies who have older systems and so forth, they don't they, they lack the business mindset. And the business mindset is that it's it's a different perspective. So for you as a craftsman, your your ideal state is to have created something that is of such a high quality that you can feel proud over the work that you have done usually that is the I find the most uh, because you you have this ideal state right for a business person it's about getting paid quality is important but the ultimate goal is to make money from the thing that you are making in other words if the cost value ratio is in your favor as I've like I've said that before guys uh, if if I own a well and you pass a law that basically bans all the uh, all the uh, piping in your entire region and so forth, and you only can go only go to me to get your water, and I own that well. Then I can charge you the same amount of money that you would have to pay to get water into your house, just to go with a bucket and get my water, because I know you need my water, so I don't have to improve the system. That's sort of what the monopoly becomes. That's why we don't want them. And the same thing is true here, guys. Where like the the solution 
is less important than the value that you're getting from the solution. It's the same thing with you guys when I've told you a hundred times before. If you're creating your own little application, don't use Kubernetes for like a super infrastructure setup. Use the thing that is simplest, even though it's not as cool or ideal or as perfect as you want it to be, because it's going to do the job. And that, as I said, that is the balancing act when you get to a little bit of scale, where depending on the company's priorities, if the company is really fine with bugs and breakages and those sorts of issues, they usually have a, there's a pain threshold. Remember, you can try to make things perfectly, but depending on your business model, depending on your circumstances and so forth, that might not be possible. Just as with my car analogy, you know, every car manufacturer is not going to be a you know, it's not going to be a, a Ferrari that they're building or like a sports car or something like that. They are trying to figure out, okay, this is our business model. This is our target demographic and our target audience and so forth. They are fine with not having, you know, a top speed of I don't know how much, etc., etc. Just as long as they're, they're it's decent and lo as long as it is, is at the level that it fills the requirements that they have. And guys, some companies are making money from like what you would probably consider very shitty systems. Very, very shitty systems. I've seen them. And they're making millions and millions and millions because they, they, like, they are getting paid for it. And there's at that moment no real reason for them. This is why a lot of companies buy off smaller startups and so forth. Because when you come and challenge the big players, usually they have the money to buy you out instead of just overhauling their entire system. Because their systems are usually it's more difficult in many cases for them to do that in uh, than it might be to just buy a small player. And that's the balancing that I'm talking about. As the system grows, quality becomes more of a, more of a, of a problem for you. You have to slow down time and cost. It's inevitable. There's no discussion about it. I've said this a hundred times before as well. Guys, every single gigantic IT corporation in the world would run their entire infrastructure on, on a single Raspberry Pi or a laptop if they could. It's just that they can't. That would be the ideal situation because then they would make billions of billions and billions upon billions without having to have all this extra cost and all this other stuff that you and I think is pretty cool, like sophisticated infrastructure, sophisticated um, teams and tons of developers and so forth. That would be great. It's basically a money-making super laptop or super Raspberry Pi, but that's not reality. So as the system grows, quality starts to, and testing and uh, um, QA work and so forth takes more of your time and your cost goes up and your time goes up. But in the beginning, you have so little code that it's usually faster. And that is a very natural, uh, it's a basically, a, it's a very natural uh, organic break upon this idea that you have that everybody just cares about money and cost. Because they do, but not, the, not to the point where the system doesn't end, actually produce anything any longer. So what I want you to take away from this is that most companies care about time and cost because companies are about money, guys. And for you, that means basically that depending on the company, you will have different priorities. Some companies prioritize quality a lot because they believe that that is going to end up with more revenue at the end of the day, happier customers, etc., etc., etc. And no company, doesn't matter which one it is, can sustain a like a pri a only prioritizing time and cost uh, at at the expenses of everything else forever unless they have customers as I said with my little well example where literally it doesn't really matter if they care about quality whatsoever because they are the only game in town or their customers are basically just going to buy whatever they make some co very few companies have that state but they do exist and you have to understand as a software developer, as a UX designer, so forth and so forth, you are on the bleeding edge. You have the highest standards in the industry for what, uh, for what we consider um, quality usually because you're understanding, you're an expert in this field. And your understanding of these topics is usually that of the craftsman. But for most companies, they have the perspective of a business person. And to a business person, the revenue the value of the thing that you are making is more important than the quality of the system, the quality of the product. The quality is a way to get revenue. The quality is a way for you to grow your market shares, etc., etc. It's a means to an end. For you, it's usually the goal. That is the difference that you have to understand. 
I argue, uh, to become a, have a good business mindset. But you should also know that that mindset, it, 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 it's a balancing act. So it's not like just because people care about money and, and efficiency and so forth that you know, you're never going to care about quality at any point. It's a more a question of, do you care about quality that is at a higher level or higher standard of quality than what your specific company cares about? That mismatch is very common and that is usually the thing that people, develop, software developers talk about when they say that all oh, companies don't care about quality. Yes, they do, but maybe not as much as you do. Have a great day.